Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can screen mirror your MacBook, which is really hard to carry at the moment, screen mirror your MacBook to your TV completely free and it's wireless by the way, there's no wires in it. It's just smooth, it's really smooth. You can use your get gestures, hold on, wait, how do I do that? There you go. <laughs> so you can use your gestures, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm really good, I'm not, it's just really hard to use it with the one hand, so let me, there you go. So you can use gestures, you can use gestures if you want to. It just, it works. It's really awesome. It's completely lag free. And the quality is just HD. I mean, you won't believe it. I'm really amazed how good the quality is. It's free. You don't have to download third party apps. Everything is just built into your laptop and your TV. So yeah, let's, let's just dive right into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your MacBook, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, it doesn't matter what MacBook you have. The first thing you wanna do is to make sure your MacBook is connected to your home Wi-Fi. So in this case, just click on your Wi-Fi, go to your Wi-Fi settings. If you have never done this before, really simple and make sure your Wi-Fi is connected on your laptop. It's really simple, nothing fancy at all. And after that, just close everything. Let me just do that. And that's pretty much all you have to do. By the way, if you find this help, if this find, if you find this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe. It's going to mean a lot to me. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Once your MacBook is connected to your Wi-Fi, any Wi-Fi or hotspot, that's pretty much all you have to do on your MacBook. You don't need to download any third party apps, third parties tools or anything like that to do this. It's really simple. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now you have to do the exact same thing on your TV. So let's do that. All right. So the first thing you want to do on your TV is to basically head over to your settings. If you have never done this before, just follow my steps. And again, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you and be sure to subscribe as well. Okay, so once you're into the settings, you will find the network settings. Now, if you have never done this before, head over to your setup connection. That way you would set up a new connection for your TV. But if you have done this before, just click on click connection and it will automatically connect to your wireless Wi-Fi or the Ethernet cable or whatever your TV is connected to. Basically, it was just check the connection and that's pretty much it. So just give it a couple seconds and... And I think we're almost done. Just, just give a couple seconds and we're done. So that way, now the TV is completely connected to the internet connection and that's pretty much it. So if you have never done this before, head over to your setup connection tab, click on wireless, and it will automatically look for uh, available Wi-Fi, available hotspot, or anything that you would want it to be. So basically you can use your mobile hotspot, you can use your hotspot from your MacBook, so it will work with anything. So as you can see, got two networks. First one is going to be my home Wi-Fi, and the second is basically a hotspot that is running from my mobile phone or whatever the case is. So in this case, I'll just make sure you're connected to your home Wi-Fi. That way it's free, it's homey. You don't have to worry about mobile data or anything like that. So in this case, I have done this before, so I'm not gonna do it again. Just click on just click on about just click on about section as you can see. It's connected, we're excellent, we're good to go, and that's pretty much all you have to do. All right, so my TV and my MacBook are both connected to the exact same Wi-Fi network. Okay, now what you wanna do is head over to your settings page, and inside the settings, find the find the Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. By the way, don't worry about it if you don't have this option. This should be automatically running on your TV if you have a latest model or something like that. But if, it's, if you can't find it, just let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely help you out. All right, so just click on the Apple Air Kit. All right, so if you're on this screen, you don't have to do anything, anything at all, okay? Don't touch anything, I'm gonna show you exactly. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step guide how you can make sure your MacBook is connected to your TV. By the way, if you don't have this AirPlay option, you can actually get uh, something like Roku Express 4K, um, dongle or, or, Chrome, or Chromecast or something. By the way, all the links will be in the description box below. So if you want the Roku Express, be sure to check the links in the description box below or, the, or there should be a plus icon on your screen. That way you can actually purchase that right from your, right from your video. So, all right. So now once you're, this, once you're on this screen, you don't have to do anything. Let's just bring out the MacBook and let's do this. Okay, now it's time to mirror the MacBook to your TV completely free. Now, now as I said before, you don't have to download any third-party apps or anything like that. So it's really, really simple. The first thing you wanna do is head over to your control center, click on that, right? Click on your control center, and that way it will give you multiple options. You have Wi-Fi, you have AirDrop, you have Bluetooth, you have Focuses, and at the corner you will see a, and at the corner you will have screen mirroring. So just click on that. And that way it will automatically search for any Apple TVs in nearby. So in this case, I got my Roku Express 4K as you can see at the corner. That is my 
that is my Roku Express that is running up top. So I'll just show you in a couple seconds and you can actually, so it's running up top. That is my Roku Express TV and that's pretty much all you have to do. Okay, so now what you wanna do is just click on that and it's gonna give you, it's gonna give, and it's gonna ask you for a post, and it's gonna ask you for a passcode. So, but if you look at the top, if you look, if you look at the top, it will give you that. If it will give you that passcode. This is just a one-time passcode. So in this case, that is seven zero five four. Okay. So let's remember that. Okay. What is the passcode? Seven zero five four. Just click enter, and that's pretty much it. Laptop, MacBook, MacBook is connected to my TV wirelessly. No cables. Extremely simple. I mean, it just so simple. I can actually, hold on, let me just open up something. Let me just open up my finder and it just, it works. It's just awesome. You can even use it as a double screen setup if you want to. So let me just open up a photo. Let's see. Okay, there you go. I took this photo when I, uh, from the balcony, actually. I took this photo from a balcony and it's just, it looks awesome. Well, it is just, it is just awesome. I mean, you look at this. I mean, it's kind of hard. I mean, it's kind of hard to use the MacBook with one hand, but it is just so good. It's so smooth. I mean, you don't have, I, I mean, I don't feel any lag. It just works so great. You can actually use this for videos, video editing or something like that. So in this case, I would just, uh, okay. All right, so now here's a pro tip. By the way, if you want this to be a second monitor, you can actually use it into the settings tab. You can use the settings tab. Let's just click on that mirroring icon right there. And if you look closer, it's gonna sh it's gonna asking you to be a separate display. It's gonna it's asking you to be a separate display. So just click on that. So just click on that separate display, and that thing is basically another display. So in this case, let me just uh, let me just uh, maybe open up a finder and let me just drag it to drag it to let me just drag it to my other display. So basically, just drag, and you can see it's coming on top. So if I just drag it from here and you can see it, it's on top and you could see it on top. So basically just drag it and there you go. It's on a new display. So if I want it to be on my main display, so just drag it back and it's coming back. So it's just so good. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So you can use it as a separate display. You can use it to duplicate this display. It is just awesome. You can listen to music. You can watch YouTube videos. You can do whatever you want. It's just basically extremely, extremely simple. So that's pretty much it for the video. By the way, if you want to stop this really simple, just click on that, uh, click on that screen mirroring option in the control center. And as you can see, we are basic, as you can see, we're basically connected to it. As you can see, we are basically connected to it. So just click on that, click on the Roku Express connected because we connected and that's pretty much it. And if you want to connect back to it, so just click on the Roku Express again, and it's connected back, so as a separate display. It's just so good. Once you connect it, you, you have the option to use it as a duplicate as well. So just let me just, uh, there you go. It's really simple, literally with one click. It's just so smooth. I mean, I'm kind of kind of amazed how fast this really is. It's just, it's awesome. Well, that's it for the video. If you like this video, if you find this video helpful, please leave a like, and if you have any questions, leave a subscribe. <laughs> if you have any questions, do comment down below and be sure to subscribe. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.